So guys, we're here at the Aimpoint booth. They've got the P1 Red Dot site here to demonstrate to us. Now, I've been running a, um, a uh, uh, excuse Delta me, an RMR sure. and a Delta Point Pro yep. on my pistol yep. as a competitive shooter for Absolutely. a long time. Sure. The uh, RMR had battery issues and the Delta Correct. Point's been durable. Correct. But Aimpoint, being the Red Dot guys, I have a feeling the P1 is going to be that it's going to change this. So it's fixed all of those things. Okay. Um, first off, external battery. The okay. sight does not have to be removed from the gun okay. to change the battery. Yep. Um, just like our micros, it takes two minutes to swap a battery out. Yep. The, uh, the Delta Point Pro did that too. Correct. Okay. Correct. Um, fully enclosed housing. Yep. It's just like our micros. It's a, it's a tube within a tube. Yes. So the, the external housing is to make it waterproof. Uh, and durable. Yep. This is dive rated to 40 meters. Wow. So it's fully mil spec. Okay. Um, fully enclosed front and rear glass. Neither of these pieces of glass are the actual optical glass. The optical glass is inside, just like our micros. You can see it's it's the same coatings, um, same design as our T2 series, Comp M5 series. So the site, it's the same site within a site, essentially. So if I beat the crap out of this and scratch it up, we just take it out to... and put a new one in. So it's it's not end user replaceable, but it's factory replaceable and cheap. Um, and cheap, yeah. It's 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 and it'll be covered under our warranty anyway if you manage to break it. It is extremely durable glass. Okay. So it's going to take. Right, and this is designed to be abused, cracked, and whatever. Um, so, yeah, I would not do that with my Delta Point. No, you would not do that with your Delta Point. <laughs> no, I would not. You yes. Would not okay. Do this with your Delta Point. No, you would but not. But you can do that with the with okay. the, the Acro. Yep. Um, this is your slide racker now. Um, Single-handed, whatever, rack it off of stuff, it doesn't matter. Um, it, it's designed as a to be just as durable as our Micro Series or our Comp M5 Series. What's the battery life like? So battery life, you've got 10 brightness settings. The first four settings are night vision compatible. Mm -hmm. uh, the remaining six are visible. Okay. Setting 10, just like on our other sites, our brightest setting is an extra bright setting. So at setting 7, which is a normal daytime setting, you'll get at least a year battery life. Wow. At setting 6, you'll get a, a year and a half. And that's constant on? That's constant on. There, yeah, there is no uh, battery saver mode. There's no motion detector to turn it on or off. Just like our other sites, we want you to leave this on. Turn it on, leave it on, let it run. Typical aim point tactics. Typical you turn correct. it on, leave it on, turn put on, it in your on. holster, don't worry correct. about it for a year. Yep, and you will then, you'll learn as you run it, based on your preferences for, for brightness, what kind of battery life you're getting. Um, remember, any, dot, any red dot site... Uh, that runs on an LED, it's an exponential decay. So mm -hmm. the brighter the dot, the less battery life. It's not linear. Okay. So, so on setting 10, of uh, the extra bright setting, we're talking uh, uh, days instead of years. Oh, but wow. it's but it's setting three or four, we're talking decades instead of years. Interesting. So and that's true of any of any sure. red dot site. Okay. Um, so I will say uh, one which thing, is, which is why we give you a a, a, a main line. Uh, you know, setting seven, and that's true of most of our sites. It's seven, setting seven or eight out of our, our normal settings. That is your, that's where we set our baseline so that we're not, oh yeah, well this one runs at normal setting for three years, and this one runs at normal setting for five years, and this one's, it's all the same baseline setting. Um, okay. It's how we, it's that, way, that way you know, you don't have to think about which one is, has more or less battery life. We're giving you a, a predetermined uh, starting point. The other thing I want to say, being a fully enclosed tube, I don't know how much you've experienced this, but with the Delta Point Pro, in a week as we do a lot of practical shooting and running gun and for tactical environments. That thing literally becomes a shovel for dirt it is. and debris. Yeah. Correct. And especially when it's sitting in a holster. Yep. It's and just collecting stuff. Or imagine crawling through the dirt. Oh, it just literally shovels yeah. it in. Yep. That you could actually just wipe oh, off. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Um, and, and just like uh, any of our sites, if the if you have rain or you know, whatever, you're not going to get any, any parallax shift. Or That's been another yeah. issue with Correct. the Delta Points and the RMR it's, is water. As long as you can see the dot, because the dot's inside. Mm -hmm. That's where the bullet goes. Cool. So, right. and same it. thing. If it's, say, this gets completely clean, you know, this dumps in the mud, you come up, and you're just going to shoot it clean, as long as you can see through the back and see the dot, you're going to make it. Oh, uh, you hit. can go bending with it. Can, exactly. Yeah. So, yep. Okay. Right. Yep. Excellent. All right. Let's try it. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So, you can shoot at this uh, front piece of steel here. It's yours. Any of the three silhouettes. Uh, I just double checked the zero on this. If you get it on the trigger, you can flip the hostage flippers at the end there, and that's 70 yards. All right, we'll give it a try. Let's go.
You're at two o'clock. Do one more. Get another bag. He says I have to do another one. You have to do more. I didn't want to, but I have to. Try the transition between the targets instead of in front. Shoot the two, shoot the two front pistol targets back and forth. Two rounds, two rounds, two rounds, two rounds. Smooth is fast. To try it. <laughs> He's looking. I Every, can't stick it in my pants. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Run. really nice that comes up yep. really quick it's it's I don't know if it's I don't know if it's true but for me it seems to I seem to find that dot faster I than agree. I do on the RMR or on the on the, the Delta or well, any of those. Told, I am a it's, proponent of still having the irons sure because yeah. it's a transition from the traditional side to the dot correct that for a the, yeah. the way I would run it would be I would have a tall suppressor sight yep. in black Yep. Because I don't want to see anything up there. Mm -hmm. And then just like I do with micro, I would use the, the housing itself as my rear go string, if you will. Yeah. To to give me a, a front sight index for in the you know, whatever. In the eventuality there's for there's no dot, I would at least have a close quarter uh, aiming point. But I would run no rears. And I certainly wouldn't want them to That's a good point. You know, with yeah. an enclosed tube, you've Correct. now got kind of a giant yeah. aperture Correct. that you don't yeah. have with the delta That's point. That's what I do That's on my on my yeah. micros. Yeah. Um, is I run a front, yep. or at least a flip-up front, if not a solid front, but I don't run anything on the back. Yeah. Because were the dot to not be there when I threw the gun up, the the, the, the glass to your brain looks about the same as an A2 rear aperture. Yeah. And you can make surprisingly long-distance hits by using just the glass and a front sight. What's the price point, and when do you expect them to be actually available? So availability is coming. It's imminent. We're making. There's a few minor things we're changing on it. Uh, the, the screw di or Torx diameter on the mounting screw, so it's compatible with all. Of, basically, one tool to rule them all. <laughs> so the micro tool, we want to be able to use all everything on that. And right now, you need a, a larger Torx to take it on and off, and a, and a kind of cross thing to take the battery pack or cover off. Those two things are being switched so that you can use the micro tool to do everything. Okay. Uh, when those are changes are done, it's on the way. Okay. Um, uh, retail is six hundred and sixty dollars. Uh, that's full retail, yeah. so it will be less than that at the dealers. Now that is the site with no mounting plates. We are not going to provide you with a bunch of mounting plates that you don't want or need. Um, right now we have fourteen or so mounting plates. So pretty much all of existing factory-ready optic pistols, we have a mounting plate already ready to go for. And then you can just buy the plate you need and not be stuck with a variety of other plates. Awesome. Uh, it also is adaptable. We have two uh, rifle adapters, so a 39 millimeter and a 30 millimeter spacer. So you can run a, an acro in place of a micro. That is everything I expected it to be. Yeah, the Aimpoint P1? Yeah. They're calling it the acro? Yes. Yep. Um, you know, what's really interesting about this is that when you saw the RMR and the Delta Point Pro, that's like that, you know, little glass one lens system. Right. This is a contained tube just like every other Aimpoint, really. And I think that he made a lot of points that were really salient, one of which is that just having a large front suppressor sight, you don't even need the rear sight anymore because it acts like its own aperture tube. It's an aperture, and even if the dot was off, you could still aim through the tube like you could any other aim point, but it also made it much easier to acquire. I think even without sights, you'd be able to find that dot better than you could with a Delta Point or RMR, but also the fact that rain, water, dirt isn't going to be included in the same way is a huge shift. Right, you don't have the cup sort of fun feature of all of the other sights. It's just a flat surface, and I don't know if it came up on video very well, but that rear, front and rear, their, their external glass is almost entirely flush with the tube. It's, so you can, really can just wipe it across and, it, and it's open. As opposed to like the Delta Point that's recessed. So even if you go in there to wipe it, it's still tricky. You know, on that note, I was actually at Tiger Valley recently. I actually pulled my gun out and it was full of dirt. I had to shake it and the dirt fell out. But it is like a scoop. Yeah. And then you, to get it clean, you actually almost you use like a Q-tip or something. Yeah. This you could wipe it off. Or his point was that even if it is completely occluded, you can still bend in with it. Yeah.
Yeah. You can't do that with a Delta Point or an RMR, not to the same way. Right. They're going to change the whole pistol red dot thing entirely. Yep. 